Here is Russian President Vladimir Putin's response to that. Take power into your own hands. It seems that it will be easier for you and me to come to an agreement than with this gang of drug addicts and neo-Nazis who have settled in Kiev and taken the entire Ukrainian people hostage. Those bitter and scornful terms really not leaving much hope for negotiations. At this point, in the meantime, overnight, another civilian apartment building hit by what appears to be a missile. It's not clear how many casualties from that attack. And at least 50,000 people have left Ukraine in the past 24 hours. Poland is expecting to get up to a million refugees in the coming days. We've seen at the train station one of really some bad crap and people trying to get out of here. Guards actually had to fire up into the air when the crowds became unruly. A lot of questions now about what's going on in the southeast in the city of Melitopol. Russians claim to have taken it. If that is in fact true, that would be the first population center under Russian control. Chris, back to you. And that would be very significant, Steve, because uh, we are preparing for what could be a very difficult situation to watch, and that is the really civilians there in Ukraine dug in to try and fight. The, the resilience uh, and, and message coming from Zelensky to his people to resist the Russians is obviously very apparent and even impresses the folks at the Pentagon are getting a sense that we're possibly going to be in for a tough fight. Yeah, and after uh, several hours of quiet, we are hearing some shelling now in the distance. It appears to be about five or six miles off to my west, so it might be starting off again here today. Griff, back to you. All right, Steve, safe. stay safe. Steve here again, live for us in Kiev. Thank you.